Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I want to bring you the first part of the series. I know it's overdue, but today I'm going to bring you the first part of the series of how to breed shrimp. And today I'm going to talk about my most important and the biggest learning curve that I had to do when I started getting into shrimp. And so today I'm going to talk about water chemistry. And I'm going to talk about the three most important tools you're going to need to completely have the perfect water chemistry and ability to keep any kind of shrimp that you want. And so I want to start first with the most, impor per <laughs> the most important tool, I think, and that is an RO unit. Um, most of you, if you guys like reefs, you know what this is. If um, you know, you've been in the hobby for a while, you're going to know what this is. But if you're new to the hobby, you're going to be like, well, what the heck is this thing? So this is an RODI unit. Um, you put this end on a faucet, screw it in, turn the water on, and it's going to spit out bad water which has like you know all the chlorine all the iron everything like that copper in it and then you have the good end this you're going to put into like a trash can or something like that and it's going to spit out um rodi water and this water has a gh kh of zero it has a neutral ph um basically just you just gives you a good foundation to start building the kind of water that you want for keeping shrimp and so the next thing you're going to be like well you know that doesn't sound too good for my shrimp um, this is what I use to uh, remineralize, remineralize the water. It's Flubel uh, Shrimp Mineral Supplement. You can get it on Aquabit, or you can probably get it on Aquabit, I don't know. You can definitely get it on Amazon, you know, things like that. And the same with this RODI unit. You can get these from any aquaponics store, and you can order them pretty much anywhere online. Dr. Foster and Smith, you know, wherever. And um, you can get a cheap one, and they work. It just takes a little bit longer, so you have to, you know, run it for a day or two before you get enough water. And so, you're gonna use this in combination with the Fluval Shrimp or shrimp Mineral Supplement. And then, most people are gonna be like, oh, well, you know, I'm gonna get this stuff. And then it has no directions. This thing basically has no directions. And that's where a TDS meter comes in handy. So, the great thing about RO water and remineralizing it is all you have to do is remineralize it one time. So. You match up the cage and the GH you want, and you know depending on what shrimp it is, you're gonna look that up, and you're gonna find the perfect GH for your shrimp. All right, and GH is general hardness, cage is um, carbonate hardness, I believe. You know, I could be wrong. I don't really know. And so you're gonna find the perfect uh, combination of those two, and then you're gonna put that in the water. You're gonna keep testing it. You're gonna keep putting this in and keep testing it until you get the perfect combination. And then you're gonna use this, and then I'll actually do something. Let me uh. Undo it. Sorry, the camera's probably gonna be shaky. But so um, so I found for me the perfect uh, TDS is 200 to 240, and so this is my water right now. It's 202. Perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. It's actually upside down. I was reading it wrong. But let's see. So 203. So for me and the shrimp that I keep. 200 is the perfect TDS that I want to be at and that matches the GH and the KH of the shrimp that I keep and um, you know which is carbon really as you know uh, basically any neocardina species and so if you have these tools one um, most people that keep like fluval uh, shrimp stratum their biggest thing is oh it burns out so quick but truthfully that's because they have such hard water and it's like so harsh on the substrate that it burns out really fast so it's using up all the all the buffers that are that are in the substrate and so in combination with the ro unit the remineralizer and the tds unit you can get the perfect combination anyway and so when you're putting it into here basically all it's going to change is the the ph and so it's not going to be it's not going to be too hard and that's the other thing ph ph means absolutely nothing in my opinion nothing People that measure pH um, are just, I don't know, they're control freaks. It's just like any shrimp is going to become accustomed to the pH that is it, it's given. Because in the wild, it rains. Rain is RO. It's RO water. And so when rain hits, you know, a creek or whatever, it's going to fluctuate the pH all the time. And then when water evaporates, the pH is going to rise because there's more minerals and a, a lesser amount of water. And so for me, pH means nothing. All that's important is GH and KH. And so if you can master those those two things, 
which you can look up anywhere online and find out what the perfect GH and KH is for the certain kind of shrimp you, you want. But if you have these three things, you have the remineralizer, the RO unit, and the TDS tester, you're on the right path for you know having success with shrimp. And so um, so that's just the, fir the first part of the series. I'm going to do a couple more, probably one to two more videos on water chemistry and kind of a little bit more in depth in some areas. And then, um, you know, just talking about things like water changes and stuff like that. And, you know, people don't think about that kind of stuff, but there are some really important factors that can really kill a lot of shrimp if, you know, you mess up one little thing. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. Uh, I'll hopefully be doing a video every week on this series. And then at the end of the series, um, I'm going to hook you guys up by having a contest with shrimp. And then the winner is going to get, you know, 15 carbon reallys or 30 blue velvets, you know, whatever it comes out to. And then uh, that just will give someone that, you know, is a beginner or something like that, a, a good starting point to where they can, uh, they can try their little venture with shrimp. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys soon.